Now let's multiply a three digit number by a single digit number using the expanded column method. So we write our question out with the larger number or the number with the most digits on top and here we're going to need three answer lines. That's because we have three digits in our number. So for this first answer line we're multiplying the ones digits and 4 times 2 is 8. Now we can move on to our second answer line, but it's really important that we remember to write a zero in the ones digit of our second answer line, and that's because we're now going to multiply by this 6, but this 6 is in our tens place, so we need a zero in our ones. Now 6 times 2 is 12, and we can move on to our third answer line. But here, we're going to need two zeros, and that's because we're next going to multiply by this five in our hundreds. But because it's in our hundreds, we need zeros in our tens and our ones. Now, five times two is 10, so the last step is just to add up our answer lines. When we do that, we have our answer, 1,128. Now, 929 times 5. So we can set the question out in the same way, and again, we start by multiplying our 1s. 9 times 5 is 45, so on to our second answer line, we need a zero as the last digit. We need a zero in our ones because we're now multiplying the tens digit. Two times five is 10, so we can move on to our third answer line. But we need two zeros at the end. We need zeros in our tens and ones because we're multiplying by our hundreds digit. Nine times five is 45, so now we just add up our answer lines and we get 4,645. 297 times 6. 7 times 6 is 42. We need a zero at the end of our second answer line and now 9 times 6 is 54. Now, we need two zeros on the end of our third answer line, and two times six is 12. So we add up our answer lines, and our answer is 1,782.